Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Serena B here, and for this week's video, I'm going to be doing a flip through of my 2017 project life. All caught up except for October, and October is going to be a long month for me to document because I had my amazing Europe trip in October for two weeks. I'm also finishing up my October daily, so I'm going to have to go through over a thousand photos and pick the ones I really want to document in both albums. I had asked on Instagram if you guys wanted to see a flip through and you guys said yes. This is for all of you guys who follow me on Instagram as well. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. I was kind of hesitant to share my album because a lot of stuff went down in 2017. There's an overall theme of self-care and, and finding myself again in this album and doing things I love. In order to get there, I had to go through a couple of rough months. But I'm all about sharing and documenting the good, the bad, and the ugly. So in this album, Flip Through, you will see some bad and ugly. But I'm not going to go into it, I'm not going to talk about it. So if you guys can figure it out, kudos on you, I'm not going to talk about it. That is how I feel like is the best way for me to go on with this flip through <laughs> because you know putting yourself out there for the world to see is intimidating and I love you guys and I want to be open and honest and, and, and transparent with you guys but at the same time um, I don't know who's watching. Keep certain things to myself if that makes sense. So let's get through the flip through after all this talking. This album is really big. This is January. Um, I went to the gym like three times last year. I had my hair dark green and blue and I love it. I miss it. <laughs> um, so I just cut up some Project Life cards from Studio Calico and I just added them there. I used a lot of Snow and Coco collection for the first couple of uh, months. It was a good uh, hair day and a good bun day. Love it. I used some stickers from Michael. Started watching Sherlock. Such a good show. I had a swap with my friend Danny and Sabrina. Game night, I played my... Harry Potter Clue, which I was so excited about. I want to play that again. It's been a while. I went to this like comic book store, pop figurine store, and I just took a picture of the wall. It was so awesome to see. Uh, the only one I'm missing is Dumbledore, and I think that's why I put the star next to it, because that's the one I want. Um, I don't collect the full collections. I just take the ones I want. And um, the only full collection I do have is Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's one of my favorite, favorite movies of all time. I was missing Columbia for a really long time, and I found her there. I also picked up Sailor Moon because you know, her name's Serena, <laughs> and she's like, I love it, it reminds me of my childhood, I put a sticker to the Boss Babe. Uh, you'll see also in this video that I decorate a lot towards the beginning of the album and towards the end, I'm just, just trying to get progress over perfection, as my friend Danny says, and I just really want to get it over with, so towards the end, you see I won't be decorating it often, but I really like looking at these pages and how I decorate it, because it's really pretty, this is my, this is more my style and my um, way of documenting Project Life. Um, I also picked up some Living Dead dolls, and I got my... That's why I went there, actually. I forgot. And, yeah, so I got the two Beetlejuice, one for me, one for my friend, uh, Frankenstein's monster, Bride of Frankenstein, and then these two. Zoom in a little bit. So for this page here, I documented the beginning of my treatment. I have Crohn's disease, if you guys don't know. And I started Humera again. I'm not on it anymore. Um, gym shot. And I really like this card because... I layered a sticker from Crate Paper and then I added this little porcupine sticker because it's like, you know, slowly but surely this is hard work and I feel like, you know, a porcupine is a little slow. Or is this a hedgehog? Whatever. Sometimes I like to do this. Um, if you follow any blogs or places like that in your area and they f if they post nice pictures, totally take those pictures and use them in your album. This is from a blog called Montreal Blog. They have an Instagram. And it's a beautiful photo. I went nicely with the spread, so I just wrote MTL on top. Picture of Mary Beth, and I had a really bad tooth pain for five days, and I had to get a root canal. I use a lot of my own collections. I designed journaling cards and collections for Paper Cakes, my shop, and I used a lot of that throughout the album. Um, so I'll point out to those that are my cards, like this one here. So I baked some cakes. This is also a card from my collection. These three are cards from my collection just to document. Sometimes I do that when I don't have um, pictures of anything and I want to document other stuff. I'll do like also in this month and stuff like that. So March was an interesting month for me and all about Buffy too. I really like this card, how I decorated it. I launched a Buffy collection called Slay a Girl and Chosen One inspired by my favorite show ever. I picked March 10th as a launch date um, and it just so happens that it was 20 years of Buffy on March 10th. So that was a fluke, serendipity, loved it so much, and I celebrated 20 years of Buffy with launching my 
one of my favorite collections because it's, it's, you know, Buffy inspired and also girl power, girl boss kind of thing. So there's a Slayer girl and then the Chosen One, which is specifically for Buffy. Pretty much what I documented here. Um, so I actually love this card. It's one of my favorite cards. And this is just documenting a snowstorm, my cousin's baby, a little like photo shoot. So I have pictures there. Um, this is one of my favorite cards that is from my Chosen One collection and it went perfectly with what was going on. Next hair color inspiration. Um, this is all about Buffy. All about Buffy. So excited. Um, they came out with an entertainment uh, magazine cover. So I, they have both. I have this one. Um, so I just uh, made a Buffy page. And this is Captain Forehead. The drawing that Spike draws in season 7 of Angel. And I did my own version of him. I think it's hilarious. So all these cards here are from my collection. And um, the vampires and all these little things. That's actually from my Love Bites collection. So... Uh, I did a Valentine's Day collection that is inspired by like vampires and stuff like that. Anyway, moving on. This is another card from Buffy, one of my favorite quotes, season 5, the last episode if you guys know. Um, I found myself retreating to nature a lot and it helped me heal my soul and just get out of my mind and out of my anxiety and um, yeah, so you'll see a lot, a lot of nature pictures in this album. And what I started doing here is uh, whenever you see a little tab, that signifies to me that there's hidden journaling and journaling about the month. So what I started to do in April was um, I journal every day now and I go through my journal and I pick things that I wanted to really just emphasize for this album. So things I'm feeling, things I'm going through, things I did, things I'm proud of. Um, I write little notes for myself and then I tuck them in and that way I know that there's journaling so that way it makes this album more personal for me and more of um, let's say if I look back on it in 10 years I'll have the pictures but I'll also know that there's journaling that I can go back on and read and see my my frame of mind and how I was feeling and how I was dealing with things at that time so that's tip for you guys if you want to make your album more personal to you when you reflect on it but you don't want um, the information to be out in the open for everybody to see you can do something like this hidden journaling sometimes I also take a piece of paper fold it in half and then I'll do like a flip open bit you'll see later and I'll do journaling in there too we went on a little trip me and my brother and his girlfriend and it was such an amazing time beautiful beautiful place look at this photo guys such a beautiful place it was like a waterfall and this was a project I did for Tombow I think I have a tutorial on this so I'll link it down below for you guys so just some pictures some more pictures of that day um, I got some happy mail from my friend Rachel and she wrote a beautiful letter so I wrote read me for inspiration another way that I know that there's something here is like I leave myself little notes um, yeah so again more pictures of nature and this is May and I started texting with my mom so funny I broke my phone got a new cell phone I absolutely love this picture as well it's one of my favorites from the whole album and I love this card I love the way I use it this is my summer babe collection so I started to use it more often here these cards are from Summer Babe and so is the sticker. This is Galaxy Lemonade. It made me so sick. I don't know what happened. Maybe it was just too sour, but it's such a pretty picture. Love it. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite spreads. I love it so much. I Instagrammed it and everything. I use my Summer Babe collection. I love the way these stickers, these are from Mambi. I just love the way they look on um, like photos like this, you know. I don't use it often, but when I do, I just love the look it gives. And it's National Scrapbook Day, so I documented uh, that for Tombow. It was a thunderstorm, so I kind of tried my best to capture the sky. And that's really cool. I love this card. I was made for sunny days. It's so me. Love it. And also, May 24th, I got my nose pierced. So, so freaking exciting. So proud. I actually have a vlog that I have yet to share. Um, if you see new things coming to my channel, I'm just trying to go in a new direction and just find something that is more me so um i probably will be sharing some more personal like vloggy type videos too in the near future so this is documenting uh that it felt like everything was trying to get in the way of me getting my nose pierced it's a long story that's why i put the card here sorry not sorry because i did it anyway and i did it for myself and it was the best feeling ever uh, this is another one of my favorite cards it's this new beetlejuice phone case i got for my new iphone 6s and it's so pretty. I love this card. I'm a big, big, big brother fan. I watch Big Brother UK, Big Brother US, and Big Brother Canada. My favorite of all time is Big Brother UK. It's so much better, guys. It's so fun. I love it so much. I'm really excited about this because he was one of my favorite players. I think he was in season two or three. 
And I'm so happy he won. He looks so stylish in that blazer. Beautiful. So happy. Yes. Okay. This is another one of my favorite cards that I did in this album. This one too is really fun. I love this picture of my umbrella. I went for a walk even in the rain. Now this is June. I used one of my Slay Girl collections. And this is my cat's brother, Mocha. So I just decided to put a picture. He's so beautiful. These are my cousins. And um, this is another way for me to know that there's something in here. I just literally titled Sweet Note on the inside so I know that there's something in there. So iPad, iPad Pencil, still have yet to learn and master that. I know I'm really bad. Started a new treatment. Now I'm on Stellara in case you guys want to know. Um, I can cook! Look at that! I can cook! I made some pasta sauce from scratch. So good. And I actually kind of would love to eat that right now. I'm a bit moji. I thought that was funny. And my cats. Uh, we had Korean shaped ice that day and it was really fun. It's so interesting. Really good. This is um, friend's birthday, swimming, Harry Potter's birthday, uh, short page document, this beautiful sky we had in the summer. And then this is around my cousin's place. Well, this is another beautiful sunset, but I don't like putting my photos sideways like this, especially if it's vertical, but I had no choice. <laughs> um, so yeah, June 30th, and it's a beautiful pond. I like this because it kind of looks like a heart. I went blonde! Yay! <laughs> New hair again! Um, so it's fun to see that transitioning from my green to blonde. But I really miss my green. I always do that. I always miss my colors. Um, so that's just documenting that. My parents went to Portugal and they went to Fatima, which is something they always wanted to do. So I did, I kept the little baggie from the souvenirs and I did my journaling in there. Filler card, more selfies. This is July, so again, I, I use a lot of these stickers in this album. They're really cute. They're from Dear Lizzie. Look at these fireworks. They're so pretty. I love this strip here too, the black and white with a pop of blue. My Beetlejuice bag. Love it. This is a picture that uh, my friend Melissa drew of me, so I thought it was really cute. So here, last day at the gym. It was July 21st. Good to know. <laughs> right there, we went to uh, this restaurant called Kampai, and it's so freaking good. Breast in peace, Chester Bennington. Such a sad, sad day. Game of Thrones started. I love this card too. It's one of my favorites. I just love the black and white and then the pop of color order. So this documents July 1st and you can see already here I'm documenting July 23rd. But I just wanted a place to put these um, fireworks photos on their own. And we got caught in the rain really, really bad five minutes after the fireworks finished, which was crazy. And this is just another way to document how I did that. So I wrote July letter here. Friends barbecue. Started doing solo dates, so I went for brunch by myself. It was kind of an amazing accomplishment. So um, that's what I ate, and I just took a picture of the table to show that I'm alone, and it felt good to push me out of my comfort zone. August, obsessed with this popcorn. I was eating it all summer long, and it's so good. More naturey photos. Beautiful. Like I live kind of by a river and um, there's a willow tree and it's just such a beautiful place. I love going there in the summer and I just captured some beautiful photos. The sky was really cool that day as well. Bubble tea. Um, this is a Nutella place, Nutella milkshakes. And so um, just picture me with my milkshake and donuts and it's just so good. Moving on, I play with bubbles and I went to my spot and I took some photos of it. It's really fun, I love this one. And it looks like there's a face in the clouds. Can you guys see that? I just really love that. So it's like God was smiling down on me. Because like there's the eye, eyebrow, the two nostrils, you know, like there's the nose. The little thing here under the nose and there's the mouth. So I really saw a face in the clouds and I thought that was so freaking cool. Two days later, I went back to the same Nutella place. And uh, my cat was sick so we had to treat his eye and it made his eye like black. Like the pupil. First trip, road trip to the States um, was a disaster. But at least I had Chipotle. That was the best part. Solar Eclipse. This is cool. My friend Jenny posted that she was using my Summer Babe collection on how she cut it out with the silhouette and silhouette reposted the pictures. That's my stuff on the silhouette Instagram and I thought that was cool. September and also the September letter. So opens up and I think I journaling in there. Again, using those stickers to layer on top. I love that photo as well. Paper Cakes' first birthday is September 1st. So, celebrating my first birthday of being in business. I love that. Another shot of Big Brother. So funny that Paul lost the same way again. I hated him this season. I liked him last time. Um, he was just so full of himself. 
and Josh wasn't any better, but the lesser of two evils. I just think it's hilarious. When this happened, my friend and I, we jumped up, burst out in laughter. It was so funny. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so then more nature spot. This is the same place um, by the river, and it was a beautiful sunset, so have some photos on that. <laughs> I was supposed to use this picture of me and my mom um, to make a layout, but I haven't, so it's just kind of floating around here. Uh, this is another road trip to Plattsburgh, and for Halloween, I always try to go once a year or twice a year if I can for Halloween. So this is really Halloween-y. Um, I love this picture. So cute. I wore my Hocus Pocus shirt and so I just put the stickers. Um, again, Buffy. Oh, Sarah Michelle Gellar. She posted a picture on Instagram. I would totally survive in a horror movie. And I put these little stickers that I got in Amsterdam. The little ghosty like emoji stickers in my album to document like funny things like that. Doesn't have to be for Halloween. Paige Evans joined my October Daily Inspiration group on Facebook, which was crazy. It was like so amazing. So I had to document that. The little sticker said eek. This is Addison and Derek Shepard. And they got together for a commercial, but this really made my Grey's Anatomy heart so freaking happy. So I wrote, oh my God, oh my God, and two eyeballs. And November, okay, we're getting there guys. Um, so Sarah Michelle Gellar, Freddie Prince Jr. Favorite couple of all time. Come on, let's be real. So amazing. They dressed up as Ducky, and I forgot her name. <laughs> What's her name? In Pretty in Pink. I just really like Ducky. And this card is just so fitting. I think this is either from Beautiful Mess or Studio Calico, and it's a Pretty in Pink, and it just went perfectly with it. Stranger Things 2. I know it came out in October, but I was on my vacation, and I decided to start watching it on November 3rd. I watched Moana for the first time. I really liked it. It made me cry. It was such a good movie. Uh, this is how I documented the month for November. Me and my cat, my friend Mary Beth. I used the Marco Polo app with my friends from the States and um, swapped like different mini albums and she got the one and she came on and made a little video for me so I snapped a picture of her. She's so beautiful. My parents uh, created a cat house for the stray cats that we had an issue with over the summer and we still have an issue with stray cats and it's really kind of frustrating but anyway, this is my cat. I shared on Instagram a collage of all the different hair colors I have done in the past and I was going to revisit one of them um, so I did gray and back to gray Spike, well James, he um, posted something on Instagram for Thanksgiving which is one of my favorite episodes ever, Pangs and um, you, it's cool because I commented and so my comment is showing up there like that's awesome, I love this episode, it's so funny, he looks so good in it anyway, so I put this card, it says I'd rather be watching Buffy from my Chosen One collection my grandmother in Portugal turned 90 and this is such an amazing photo my cousin sent me isn't that hilarious? it's like oh boy and the 90 balloons, I think that is so, I love this photo One of my, I think this has to be one of my favorite photos in this whole album I love my grandma um, so, yeah, my November letter had to go in like this. I just put a little envelope. Again, those letters from Dear Lizzie, I love them. Okay, so I had to start hiding certain things, a little bit too personal. If you guys want me to do a, a video about my tattoos and the story and the meaning for each, let me know. I won't get into detail here. I can totally do a type of video like that. So this is the business card. I did some journaling under it for Snowfall. So it's not in order, so this kind of like jumps side to side. First snowfall, a major snowfall was November 19th, and I went for a walk to my spot, and it was really fun. 3 for 30th, um, process pictures, I Instagrammed it, I had Insta stories, everything. Um, this is one of them. I should probably put pictures of the actual tattoos. <laughs> so then for my birthday, for at night we went for supper, which is behind here. Um, so it kind of jumps, so that's why I had to date them. So this is the 26th, we went to see the Christmas train, um, which is this thing that they do every year apparently. This is a picture of me with the bandages from the tattoo, I thought it was really fun. That night, me and my friends, we got together, went to Kampai, which was a great night with my friends. That's how I celebrated my 30th birthday. I wasn't expecting any gifts, and I got gifts from my friends and my parents, and I thought it was amazing, so I just kind of documented that here. A little roundup thing of what happened that month. I baked myself some cakes four days later, and of course I made them Halloween-y. And this is an Instagram post, if you guys want to check it out, what I wrote. It starts December. December 1st, I went out with work friends for my birthday. This rock bar club that plays 80s music on Fridays. The time of my life with my friends and dancing and just having so much fun. An amazing time, an amazing experience, and um, I loved it so much. I created this little mini 
uh, layout. This is a 6x8 paper from Carousel that I got from my friend Mary Beth. And so this is how I documented December. I just stamped it out here using my L Studio stamp set. The disco mirror ball, we had some tequila shots, and it was just a great night. And I have a lot of elements on the outside too, so I like to do that in my project life. This is covering up something. A little note says read me, and I stamped these like little arrows and I put a sticker so I know that there's some journaling behind that card. Um, yeah, pretty much started to decorate for Christmas. Uh, I had to do a sleep study on December 6th. I took some selfies, but I just covered them up because they're kind of they're funny looking, so... Um, just cover that up. This is documenting the gift I got from Tombow. Sent me a little gift, which I'm so honored to have. I love being a part of this team. It's one of the best things I've ever done. And I just love, love, love Tombow. Great company. So this documents uh, a Christmas party that we had at my friend's place. And so I took some pictures. It was a Christmas sweater thing. I found a Grinch sweater. It was a little expensive, but I had to get it. It had a classic Grinch on it. It says Merry Grinch Miss, and I love it so much. I use my Christmas collections for this. I'll have all of my collections linked down below if you're, in case you're interested in um, checking out my shop. But yeah, so this is a little Santa guy that I got in a haul from um, Europe. I bought a lot of Christmas and Halloween stuff in Europe. This is my gift, and there's a whole story about this. I named him Sven, and I always wanted something like this, like carved. I, you guys know by now, I'm a skull fiend. I have like 10 in my room. I collect skulls, and um, I love it so much. But we saw one like that in Stockholm, and we still had two more places to go. We had to go to Norway and in Copenhagen, and then back to Amsterdam, and I'm just like, it's. I'm not going to travel with a skull in my bag. It's going to take up a lot of space. So... I decided not to get it and my friend, we did a secret Santa swap and the friend I went to with on my trip got me and she knew right away what to get me and she got it off of eBay or something like that. So long story but such an amazing heartfelt gift. This uh, is a spread that goes together documenting the two Christmas markets I went to with some friends and I just took some pictures and I just, you know, mulled wine. It's so good. I love this page. It's one of my favorites too from this whole album. I just love the colors and how everything works together. This was my favorite little bunny, so cute. And there's a fire pit, love that fire pit so much. This is funny, it's like a picture of my my Halloween socks that I got from Danny and then my snowman pajamas and I'm like, don't get it twisted, I still love Halloween. <laughs> this is another little page documenting the bigger snowstorm we got December 16th and I went to my spot, it was a beautiful day. I was able to lay in the snow like I did when I was a kid. I had so much fun, it was such a beautiful, beautiful day here my shape in the snow it looks like Darth Vader I think it's hilarious and then uh, this is documenting Christmas which is such a shame I had a whole Christmas collage photo that I made ready to print so when I was batch printing I forgot to print that one and the only one I did save was me and my cousin selfie from snapchat so that's the only picture I have to document Christmas even though I did have other Christmas photos I'm so so bummed about that but I mean what can you do again covering up some stuff here my card that I made uh, for a Christmas card collab with my friends so Neat and Tangled sponsored my Christmas card collab and she posted my my card on on their Instagram so it was really fun last page looks like this this is documenting New Year's Eve and, and my one little word is love so I use my journaling card that I created for love bites in there to kind of document that um, some selfies with the friends the food we had this is another private journaling spot and I did my true best nine which was inspired by a new podcast I'm listening to crafty ass female by Amanda Zampelli and Kristen and I've been following Amanda for a really long time so when she created a new podcast I was really excited about that and um, if you guys know Instagram does best nine and this was the best nine for paper cakes and this was the best nine for me and I wasn't really too happy with it so I created my own best nine so guys that is it that's my long flip through of 2017 if you have any questions about how I do project life or the products I use or my shop paper cakes and my collections just leave a comment down below and if you want to see a project life uh, process video or kind of like how I do it and how I go about project life this is gonna be my third year doing it now and I'm using the same format sort of like a vlog video where I show you um, how I print my photos, different apps that I use to edit and print my photos I can show you how I set up and how I keep track of everything for my project life so if you're interested in something like that let me know I can definitely do a video like that for you guys um, I kind of just want to give you guys what you want so just let me know me to do more project life videos on my channel let me know that as well. I could totally film some more videos for you guys because I wasn't too sure if I should or not. So yeah, 
that is it. Thanks so much for watching. I know this was a long video, but I appreciate you being here with me. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I put videos out every Saturday, and I have all my Instagram and social media stuff linked down below if you, in case you want to check that out. So, hope you guys have a great day. Bye!